And we're back at the Oi Real Pro presented by Corona. Heat number 10, round number three, a big matchup in Felipe Toledo versus Kanoa Igarashi. Kaipo Guerrero here along with 89 world champ Martin Potter for the call. It is a great, great heat. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you just got to go back to round number one and uh, a big a paddle battle. And oh my, my goodness. goodness. Wow. What is going on there? Well, we're going to watch him. This is Kanoe Garashi in the blue jersey, and he's surfed this wave through. Remember, we always start heats, pots, with a neutral no priority. priority. Yeah. So we're going to take another look at this. So priority is determined by positioning on the wave. Well, it is a peak situation. Um, it kind of looked a little bit like more of a left-hander, maybe. Be nice to get Richie in and uh, have a chat about that one because that was uh, not the way Felipe Toledo wanted to start that heat. Let me tell you right now, QS event. So trying to channel, channel that energy. Felipe Toledo having a look at this one. Toledo looking down the line. Ah, just unloads on that opening turn, full rail. Now he wants more, throws the air, and comes unglued, goes down on the closer. Yeah, well, that first turn was absolutely amazing. We got uh, the judges' tower uh, with an explanation. Bertamo, you're up there. Yes, how are you going, guys? Very good. We're good here. Can you give us an explanation of what happened uh, with that non-priority interference between Kanoe Garashi and Felipe Toledo? Yeah, unfortunately, um an interference to start the heat, there's no priority, obviously, before any waves are caught. Um, Blue owned the peak because he was in the middle of the peak and there was an equal left and right situation. So he had the right to the left-hander and unfortunately um, Red pushed it too far and hindered the takeoff for um, Blue. So that was our situation. and. Unfortunate to start a heat like that, but it is what it is. Second scoring right is cut in half. So Toledo's really got to light it up, and uh, well, he knows it because watch this first turn here from Felipe. Just a John John like maneuver from Margaret River. Kind of gets caught behind the section just a little bit there, and realizing he needs something at the end, goes for broke. So offshore winds uh, hindering that aerial maneuver, but a beautiful searing gouging maneuver from felipe toledo sneaky powerful this kid is and he is going to have to light it up if he's going to win this heat scores coming through for kanoa igarashi's first wave a 5.33 and toledo with a 5.67 hypo that is uh, an unbelievable first turn had he finished that off with a that air reverse we would have seen some excellent scores plus points let's have a look here we go unless he gets kanoa back on an interference <laughs> hey, stranger things have happened. Now to live action, Kanoa Igarashi on the backhand. And Kanoa looking good. He's got that C.I. Tilo under his feet and snapping through there. 511 Channel Islands is his equipment. Checked in on the locker room with Kanoa. So we're going to see him. He's going to back up his opener of a 5.33. Yeah, Kanoa's got to be careful too because, uh, you know, Toledo is, is well capable of massive scores. Let's have a look at this wave here from Kanoa. Nice little opening turn, draws off the bottom again, keeping that board moving rail to rail, nothing too crazy just yet. So I'm not really seeing this score go too high. I'm seeing it kind of really pretty much in the mix of his first wave, which is a 5.33. So. In saying that, Toledo knows now there's uh, basically no room to move as far as surfing safe. And you saw that by his first wave. His intentions are clear. He is going to go absolutely ballistic in this heat. And he's going to have to if he wants to win it. You don't want this 13th place here a mere 1,750 points. Igarashi taking a right. Moving down the line, throws an air himself, and uh, just lands on the white water, goes incomplete. As far as his second high score, because of that interference, will be cut in half. 
And at the moment, his second highest score, just a 0 0.20. And Igarashi, he's our heat leader, going left again. Arcs off the top. Patient and paced approach. Just two turns for Igarashi, looking to better his low of a five-point ride. Scratching down the beach in the red jersey. Felipe Toledo. What's he got for us? Let's watch this unfold. Looks it. Second nice arc. Make it three with a white water climb. The crowd likes it. Yeah, the crowd love it. He's going to need excellent scores on both of his waves. Here we go. Let's have a look at this first turn. Nice and tight in the pocket. Straight in the bottom, straight off the bottom into that next maneuver. So nice flow between the turns. Beautiful transition. And Felipe, he's been sitting for quite some time. So just wanted to make sure he finished off that wave. Kanoa Igarashi trying to replace a 5.0. And now Kanoa with priority as he will make his way back out into the lineup. Nice big vertical snap there to finish off on that wave. So Kanoa Igarashi. Uh, actually, let's get back to this. This happened during that recap for Felipe Toledo. Yeah, F Felipe needs to get some excellent scores. You heard Carlos talk about it. He needs something big. He needs something above the lip, and that is not going to do it again. So Toledo with a 5.73. Last wave for Kanoa Igarashi. Play some defense on top of all of this. He's actually going to let Felipe go, thinking that Felipe can't get the score on this little insider. But he may surprise us, but he doesn't. He's going to take this one in. And a dejected Toledo makes his way to the beach. Eliminated from competition. Kanawa Igarashi, though, moves through to the next round. Lives to fight another day. Finds himself here in round number four. We'll be back with another heat from the Oi Real Pro 